You 100% can use Canva to edit your videos and share them on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and they're still going to reach your intended audience. So in this video, I'm going to take you through a Canva video editing tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is sign in into Canva. If you don't already have a Canva account, you can use the link in the description down below to sign up for one. Once you've logged in, this is going to be your dashboard. So we're going to go to this section that says, what will you design today? And you can see different designs templates here so we're going to go to the button that says video and then we are going to look for a tiktok video since that is the one we want to create click on that yeah so it opens for us a blank template this is where we're going to be creating our video from so we're now inside the video editor and the first thing that you can do is just to rename your video so i'm going to call mine just start and then we're going to upload a video that we already have so go to the upload section here and then click on upload files find the videos that you want to edit so these are the two videos that i want to edit so just upload them now you have to be careful here because if your video is bigger than 1gb then canva will not allow you to upload it but you can see mine is uploading here you can keep checking the progress to the left hand side here yeah and it may take some time depending on how big it is once it's done uploading you can now start editing your video yeah so just click the first video that you want to edit you can see it has come to our timeline here yeah so we can set our video to be the background here so the first thing that we want to do is just remove the parts that we don't want. This would be the part where you made mistakes or where you have these awkward poses or maybe where you are looking away from your camera or just not talking. That is what I'm going to start doing here. So just listen to your video. Yeah, when you have a section that you want to remove, just right click it. Then you're going to click on split page. That is how to cut the page and then remove the section that you don't want. And you keep doing that until you've removed all the sections that you don't want in your video yeah now we have a clean video where we've removed all the different parts that we don't want now we can start adding in really fun things into our video and the same process that we've done here is what you do if you are in a more advanced video editor such as CapCut or even DaVinci or even Premiere Pro just removing the parts that you don't want next we want to add in some text so we want to add it into this first section here so you can decide to add in a text box and just type some text into it or you can use some of the text templates that they already have in Canva some of them are really cool but but my favorite is to go back to design on the left hand side here so that we are going to have the video templates and then just scroll through the videos until you find a video with some text that you really like. I like this one here. I really love the way it just pops onto the screen. So just click on that and you can see it's asking us whether we want to apply all four pages. So we don't want to apply all four pages. I just want the way the text uh, sort of pops in into the screen so we can use just one of the pages. So the first thing that you want to do here is to add in a new page so just hover in between the first and the second page and then add in a new page in case you wanted to use all the text you can just delete the video but i don't want to use all the text i just want this one here so i'm just going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it back on my first page here so just going to reduce it just a little bit here yeah so if i play my video now yeah, you can see there was a bit of popping effect. Let's do that again. Yeah, you can see the way the text sort of popped into the screen. So now we can delete this page here because we don't need it right now. Yeah, and then we can now come to our text here. And I want to type in something uh, sort of like an intro for our video. So I could just type in something, maybe what exactly it is that I'm saying on screen. So I could type in something like you keep watching. Yeah, and then I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit so that it is able to fit into our screen and just make it just a tad smaller yeah so we can have it somewhere there yeah maybe somewhere there yeah you can also trim your text to come uh, just to the first part of maybe your video just until somewhere there and then it just sort of disappears so that is something that you could do with text you can just trim it yeah and then in this next page we're going to do something really fun we're going to remove the background of our video so just click on the bg remove here and it's going to remove your background but this one you can only do if you're on the pro version of canva but you can use the link in the description down below to sign up and it's going to give you 30 days of of free canva pro so that you're able to try out this with your designs once the background is removed you can add in a photo or even a video to your background let's search for something here so i'm just going to look for uh, maybe online something 
make sure I'm on videos and also we want to filter this so that we are only getting the vertical videos since this one is already a vertical video so let me see if there's one that I can use here yeah so we're going to add in a new page here and then we're going to look for one that you like I think I like this one here okay and we add it in into the new page so why we did that is because you can see it's about 16 seconds uh, but the video that we want to add it into is much smaller so we're going to trim it here yeah, you can see ours is about 3.8 seconds so let me make this 3.8 so this is how you just make it longer you just drag it out until you get to your desired length then i'm going to just copy it yeah and then i'm going to come back to my page here and then we are going to paste it here yeah and now if you just uh, replace the background what is going to happen is that your video will disappear and remember it has a voiceover so we want to undo that and then we want to just try and pull it so that it fills the whole page. I'll show you what we are going to do next. So just pull it until it's filled the entire page. And then we're going to go to these three dots and then we're going to click on position, click on layers. And you can see that our video is the background. And if you try to pull this down, that is not going to be able to come down. So we want to remove our video as a background. So we want to detach it. So detach video from background. And now we can set this video as a background and you can see now our our video is sort of floating uh, above this one so we can have it somewhere here so this one is going to make uh, our video look really pretty yeah now we can remove uh, this other video here because we are not using it so just delete the entire page okay now in this other section here I want to add in several videos which are going to be playing together so we're going to go to elements we're going to type in frames here and we're looking for some frames to use here also ensure that you remove the filter we'd set earlier so that we are able to see all the frames we're going to use this one here and then we're just going to resize it yeah and then we're just going to duplicate it so that we have three of them and also adjust them so that they cover the entire screen okay and then now we are going to go back and start looking for some videos. So this time we want videos of people are uh, recording and we're also going to add in our extra page here so that every time we find a video, we just come and trim it so that it is almost the length of our video or just much shorter. So just copy it, come back to our section here, paste it here and then just hover it over the frame and it's just going to clip right in and you do this until you have the different uh, three videos that you want to use for that particular section. In case you don't like a video, just right click it and then you're going to detach it from the frame and then you can put in another one that you like. And then for the other slide here, I want to add in some text. So we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier. I'm just going to use the text that we have on this video template here and then we're just going to paste it here and also write in the text that we want to be written here. Yeah, so now I've written just as qualified here and we can also trim it so that it is in the section that we want so just pull it back here so that when that section starts it doesn't start immediately it only starts uh, in the section that we want it to let's see that play okay so up until there i think it looks okay yeah so i'm just going to also copy this since we'll have two of them and then trim this one up to there yeah, and then I'm going to paste in the second one here. Somewhere here, I'll just paste it in. And then we're also going to edit the text. And then in this next scene here, I want to split this here. Okay, and then for that part, I want to add in the second video that we also uploaded. So I'm just going to go to my uploads. This is a video, so I need to add in a new page here. And then just click on that video also trim it to ensure that um, it is much uh, smaller than where we want to place it yeah so now we are going to copy it and then we're going to paste it in here yeah so that it looks like uh, we are doing this recording even as we are talking about uh, recording the video so you can see the video here this is the original one here and then we're going to go back to elements and then we're going to search for phone frame record so remember the frames that we searched for earlier you can actually decide on the exact frame that you're looking for yeah so i think this one would work here so just click on it you can see it here and then now we're going to hover this video over that frame you can see it's just clicked right in so we're going to make it um, just a tad bigger to cover the entire space remember we are not replacing our background so we are still talking in the background video so just ensure it's okay let's play this okay we can delete this one we don't need it anymore 
I'm also going to add in some text to my last slide here. So I'm just going to get the text that we've been using earlier and then I'm just going to write what's stopping you. And yeah, so just make it smaller until it fits into that also while you're in canva anytime you see this crown here it means that you can only use that if you're on the canva pro account so if you're on the free account then you can't use that otherwise it's going to give you challenges when you come to downloading and now we can go into downloading our video so click on where it says share here and we're going to download our video as an mp4 and we're also going to download all the pages together once it's done downloading now we can go into posting our video you keep watching other people show up online sharing their message sharing their businesses and what their businesses do but here is what you're not seeing most of them when they first started didn't feel ready either but they showed up anyway and recorded their first video posted it online and so many things have changed for them but the truth is you're just as qualified you're just as brilliant someone is waiting for you to tell your story someone is waiting for you to share your business and what your business does all you have to do is hit record but in the meantime let me know what's been stopping you from showing up in the comments down below now we can go into posting our video so i'm going to be posting it uh in tiktok so that is how you can use canva to edit your videos and even post them online let me know what you're struggling with when it comes to showing up on video also subscribe to the channel for more content like this my name is paris and i'll catch you on the next one